Hi guys, it's me. So, it's Tracer. Um, I used a ice tray to make a medicine container because some people, like me, I don't have a whole lot of money. And, um, I basically ordered it from day to night so that way it made my life a little bit easier and very simple I put a.m. at the bottom and p.m. at the top and then I just put Monday through Sunday on it um, I did use some paper and some glue for the top especially to keep this closed because it's open it does open to put water in for your regular ice trays but this is a dollar ice tray so i just use it so that i can have it for medicine because the other ones at the other stores are so expensive i don't want to pay almost twenty dollars or like 45 bucks for a freaking tray that does the same thing so, I'm going to be filling up my med container, um, and I guess you guys can come along with me for it, because I gotta fill it regardless of what I do today. Um, my hubby is taking a nap, for those who don't know that I have one. Um, I got diagnosed as a diabetic and um, did not know this um, part of my family is diabetic part of them are not uh, part of them have other issues um, I'm not gonna say what all of them are but some of them have other issues that they take medicine for so um me being diabetic and unfortunately bipolar um i do take an anxiety medication i'm not going to show it on camera because not everybody's diagnosis is the same by the way i am not a doctor um I'm not a therapist, even though half the time I feel like I am, to my friends. And I have pushed away some of my friends because they want to talk about their business. And this time I'm tired of listening. I'm tired of listening when they need a shoulder to cry on. And when I need a shoulder to cry on, I get a big middle finger for it. So... I'm so done having the middle finger put up at me. I don't like it. I don't think it's fair. I've been there for one person uh, for 18 years. And I considered her like a sister to me. But somebody hacked my Facebook account. Apparently thought it was funny. And, um... Yeah, I shut down my Facebook account completely because of this person. And it just gets to a point where you're done. You're mentally and physically done. You're just like, nope, I've had enough. I have enough stuff to deal with and I'm not about to open a new camera of worms dealing with everybody else's crap and a lot of people don't like that that i'm honest and i'm tired of people's bullshit yes i said it no it's not for little kids this is for adults if you're ever sick and tired of you know, a friend telling you exactly what the fuck to do. Which, I have friends that do do that. Sometimes I don't mind because I'm giving them a situation that I'm in. That maybe they could help. 
lovingly half the time they don't know. So, hold on one second. I didn't want you seeing me do my nasal spray. Um, and I have asthma, unfortunately. Um, that I can show. Uh, there is two different ones. I can't pop this one out. I'm trying to get it out, but it doesn't want to come out. Um, one I know is, has, um, a certain type of medicine in it and the other one doesn't. Uh, that's when my, unfortunately, my first inhaler doesn't work. When my first inhaler doesn't work, I have to result to the other one. Now, it might be a little bit stronger than the other one, but chapstick. It's going to be still hot and cold, whatever else. Um, I do live in California. And there we go. Takes a few seconds. Doesn't take that long. Um... Yes, I am taking the pill for diabetes, and I'm taking a shot. It's really awkward. Um, yes, I have to prick my finger. So, unfortunately, I have to prick my finger. And I don't like pricking my finger. It hurts. It's not a, it's not a quick shot. Um, it is painful to those who are not used to it. That's my service dog barking at the door for no reason. Um, him I have for different reasons. So, just trying to get by day to day. Do what you can do. And did anybody know that freaking bus passes in freaking Anaheim or Orange County in general are freaking expensive? It used to be about $2.87 to go one way. Actually, for handicap, it used to be $0.75. Cents. Now, it's $2.50 for an all-day bus pass. I have not known this at all. I still thought it was $1.50. Yeah, they changed that about two years ago. So, they changed it around pre-COVID. And now it's two fifty to board a bus for a one day bus pass uh for seniors and disabled uh for for children um I think it's like i think I'm not sure about children um but from children to a certain age, you have to pay. I'm not sure what that is. Um, and then I know if they're past 12, definitely have to pay a certain amount. Um, cause then they're considered preteens. Um, that I believe is still $5, I believe. Um, on bus, uh, you can get it through OCTA and they'll have it delivered to your door and they take it out of your card. So, if you have a debit card or a credit card, they'll take it out of that. Lucky, please stop. They'll take it out of your credit card. So, um, uh, if you can make it down there, um, I think it's on Main and Garden Grove. The 54 will take you like close to it um and uh you get off you get off there on main and um you want to go right and it will be the second building and uh you just walk in there and tell them what you need and they'll set you up and you can use your card or you can use cash or whatever you got um to get bus passes. The same thing with um, access. You can get passes from them as well. Um, access is a little bit more trickier. Uh, for disabled people, it's, it's not that hard. 
um, you do have to sign up and you do, lucky stop it, you do have to go down there and apply for OCTA um, access. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, yeah, you can go down there and apply. And uh, you do have to have a valid doctor's letter stating that your uh, if you if you have uh, different health uh, issues that cause you not to be able to go on an OCTA bus, which means you can't really deal with a whole lot of people, um, access will probably be better for you because it takes you from your house straight to where you got to go. So let's say you got a doctor's appointment in Santa Ana. Um, it will take you directly to that doctor's appointment as long as you have the address. So you have to have the address to your place or apartment, uh, your home or a friend's home that you're staying at, and you tell them the address. They'll meet you right at your front door. And unless you have a gate, then you have to go up to like an office area or something where they're easily accessible. Um, they'll go up straight to there. Uh, they will not give you a phone call. They won't. Uh, they give you 10 minutes and then they leave. So make sure you're at the front or the back. Yes, they can be late. Um, no, they don't call you if you're late. You have to call the service to find out why they're late and go from there. Um, what else? Uh, they will be probably late picking you up. Uh, or they'll be early. They can arrive up to 10 to 20 minutes early. Uh, same thing with the OCTA bus. They can arrive anywhere between 10 and 20 minutes early. So do remember that when you're planning out your day that they arrive early. Um, I know the Brooker's bus is every 30 minutes on the weekday and on the weekend it's every hour. So kind of sucks. Um, on Sundays I think it's every other hour. I could be wrong on that last one. but. If you're going grocery shopping, it's not a good day to go grocery shopping on Sunday. Um, trying to think of what else. If you got a car, you're good as golden. I mean, this shit. If you don't mind paying these crazy gas prices. They're nuts. Um, and rent out here. Uh, I've heard from some people who live here at our apartments that they're paying different prices. So some people are paying, excuse me. Oh. Some people are paying 22, some people are paying 1860, some people are paying 17, some people are paying 1582, um, other people are paying like eight, 900, but they just moved in. Um, um, yeah, I mean, we're paying a good chunk of amount of money. Um, I know other people have moved to Arizona, Oregon, Michigan, Texas. Uh, one person I knew moved to, uh, South Dakota back home to where her aunt lives. So, I mean, to each his own. Uh, another friend of mine moved to Mexico, which I miss you, darling. I really do, I miss you. Um, and I hope everything's okay. And um, I really do, I hope everything's all right 
with the people that I knew as my friends. Um, I'm sorry if it's not going your way, life in general. I know my hair's a dang mess. I really didn't bother to mess with it. I was doing dishes, so I didn't really care um, to do my hair anyways. But I guess it's more of a rant than anything. Um, another thing I'm going to be doing, um, is grocery shopping. I have this semi list and I have made a meal plan, which I don't ever make meal plans. I kind of fly by the seat of the pants kind of dinner or breakfast or lunch, or whatever. Um, depending on what it is. So, I haven't made one of these in a long time. I know I haven't really updated you guys a lot. But it's close to Halloween. I'm starting now to put up my decorations. Because Lucky's chilled out. And my hubby's laying in his bed. So, he's laying down and... It doesn't take me very long to, it takes me a while to stand up on a chair to do all this because I don't really have a backing to stand on. Um, but other than that, I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, mental health, not so much. But we all do what we can. And for those who know me on TikTok, just avoid it. <laughs> Seriously, uh, there's there's nice people, and then there are bullies on there. And when you tell the bully the truth, they don't like it, and it ticks them off, and they act like a bunch of jerks. So. Just to let you know, if you piss off somebody's demon, doesn't mean that the demon that you have that's hiding can come out. I think I let my demon out because she was upset. How about bullshit that people like to say and do? So... Don't forget to bless your house. Don't forget to bless yourself. And don't forget to bless others. Give them a compliment. Say you like that dress when you really do. Say, oh my gosh, girl, where'd you get those shoes? They're so cute. Or where'd you get that hair tie? I've been looking for one just like it. Simple. But nice. Or, hey, dude, I like that shirt. I need one for my own man. What do you suggest? Where'd you get it? Not that hard. You can say it to anybody. Just don't be rude about it. There's a difference how you go about things like that. And some people just don't. They just don't see a way around it. They think it's, some people think, it's too difficult to say hi or give a smile. It's too difficult to open a door for a lady that has a walker or a wheelchair. No. It takes 10 seconds to open a door. For someone that can't. So open your heart. And open your mind. And just be kind today. No matter how you're feeling. That person will feel better. Knowing that somebody was nice. And even if they're not nice. Just tell them God bless you. And. Try. To be a little kind. 
little nice to someone you don't know. Even though you may be dying inside, doesn't mean you can't be nice to someone. So try it. It won't hurt you. I promise.